Hey guys, welcome back to the BTNHD, and this is actually part two of four of how to create a Radius server. I'm using Server 2008 R2 edition, and let's begin. I think on part one, I showed you guys how to install CA and MPS, which is the Believe Network Policy Server and CA Security Authority. Uh, just basically how to install the roles. Uh, and now it's time to configure the certificates. So what you want to do, you want to go is uh, go and start, type in MMC, Microsoft Management Console. Uh, I'm going to expand this. You guys want to go to File, Add or Remove Snap-ins. And you guys want to add the certificates node. And from here, you want to do is choose computer. You want to hit next. This is going to be the local computer. Hit finish. And then from there, we're going to hit OK. And then what we want to do is expand our certificate node. Go into personnel. Right click on certificates. Go all tasks and request a new certificate. Now you're going to read all the basic information from here. It's going to say before you begin, the following steps will help you install a certificate. So we're going to hit next. And then from here, because we have Active Directory run policy, we're going to use this. It's the only one we have. If you want it configured by you, you can click on add and do it your own. But we're going to use this. We're going to hit next. And what we want to do is we want to pick our domain controller because again, uh, that's what we installed in part one. We installed the CA, the, the certificate authority. Uh, row so the domain controller is what we want and we want to hit enroll if everything goes well you're gonna get a succeeded uh, you can click on details it gives you a nice little detail the following option describes the use of uh, the certificate uh, digital signature client authentication server authentication you can even view the certificates awesome so we're gonna press ok on that and we're gonna get finish and that's about it guys just finished configuring the certificate on our radius server I think on part three or four I'm going to show you guys how to configure the radius services and then on part four we're going to just test it out and make sure everything is working out hopefully you guys enjoy this video please leave comments below and I'll catch you guys later peace out